Hi there, it's Donna from Taffy Crafting and today I want to show you a brand new product that's coming out on the 3rd of June with the new catalogue and it is this bundle. We've got the Jar of Flowers photopolymer stamp set and the coordinating punch and I just love it. Let me show you what I've just punched out. It's the first time I've played with it. An absolutely perfect jar. Just the great thing about um, punches you just get a perfect image and the stamps are just beautiful and I want to show you a project today using this stamp. I won't be using the punch because I don't need to use the punch for this so I'm going to put that onto one side. The other thing that comes with this as well are some little acetate jars that you can actually make shaker cards out of um, and that's something that I'd like to have a go at um, in the next few weeks once the new catalogue is out. So we won't use the punch for this product. What I want to show you is just how beautiful this this stamp is and how nicely it, it stamps. So I'm going to start off with a card base that measures eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths and I've scored down the long side at four and an eighth. I've got a piece of, you can use any colour, but I've decided to go for Old Olive. I love Old Olive. I think it's just a lovely green. It's just green. It's a slightly darker green. And this measures four inches by five and a quarter. And then I've got another piece of Whisper White and this measures three and a half by five and a quarter. So we've got a nice border all the way around that. I'm just going to put the green to one side for now. I'll just focus on the stamping. So I'm going to start off with Smoky Slate Ink. Just trying to sort out my stamps here because I've got them on the wrong blocks. So I've got this jar that I'm going to stamp first. There's all sorts of things that you can do with these jars. OK, so and, and over the course of the next few weeks, I'm going to show you all the different things that you can do with them. But I'm just going to start with this and I'm going to stamp this in Smoky Slate. I'm also going to be using, sorry, that's the camera shaking. I'm also going to be using watercolour pencils for this. I've got back into my watercolour pencils again. So get this nice and central on your on your card. So we've got that. Now if we were going to punch it out, let me just show you how easy it is to line this up. In there, punch it. Dead easy. So we're not going to do that today. Let's put that to one side. Now the next stamp that I'm going to use is this one here for the um, stems of the flowers and I'm going to use old olive for that. In, in a previous practice that I did with this I used garden green and it wasn't right because I haven't got the garden green um, watercolour pencil and so the colour went a bit wrong. So I want to just line that up there with the top of the lid. And that's the great thing about these photopolymer stamps. You see, you can just line them up. You can see through them. So there are the stems of my flowers. And then going back to the smoky slate, I'm going to use... I'm going to use this bunch of flowers here and that way I can show you all the different things, all the different colours in the watercolour pencils. So smoky slate, stamp that up. You'll notice with this um, stamp there are no sentiments on there, it's just purely jars and flowers. Let's put my ink out of the way. I need to line this up and I need to try and get my head over this. So you need to line up the bottom of those flowers with the top of the jar. And then stamp and press that down so you get that on evenly. I just think that's stunning. I just think it's absolutely stunning. I love it. 
absolutely love it. Now let me show you what you can do with these watercolour pencils. So the watercolour pencils, we've got two colour assortments. This is assortment one. This is in our original Stamping Up packaging. Well, I say original when I joined Stamping Up. It's a little bit different now. And you need the blender pens to go with it as well. Pack of three blender pens. And then you've got these watercolour pencils. And how many are in here? 13. And then you've got a completely different selection in assortment two. So for this one, I'm going to use Real Red which I now can't see. No, it's not that one. Can't see it now. There it is. And I'm going to colour these bigger flowers in. Now, the great thing about these watercolour pencils is that you don't need to be very good at colouring. So please don't think that, oh, you know, she must be artistic. Uh, no, she isn't. I can't draw anything and this is why I like the watercolour pencils because you're just kind of scribbling that in there really and the blender pens they just disperse it all for you so all of these are going to be in real red So let's get those coloured in. Just want to show you how easy this is and how quick it is as well. Okay, so there are those. Now these here, these middle flowers in here, I'm going to colour those in, well, whatever colour pops out of here, really. We've got an orange there. So this is pumpkin pie. I'm going to colour those in. And I am, I promise you, I'm just scribbling. The pens will do all the work for you. Now, I could have used the stamp and blends for this, but I can't use those as well as I can these. This is my preferred, my preferred coloring in, um, implement. Right, that's Pacific Point. So I've got a blue for these colours here, for these flowers here. Now I know nothing about flowers. I don't know if they should be white, if they should be blue, green, I don't know. It's a new special range of flowers that I've just come up with. And I'm just doing literally a little scribble in each area there. And I'm really making this desk wobble doing this. Sorry if that's making the camera wobble. Oh, just remember these here. For everything, I think it is. And then I want a green for everything else. So the green that's in here, which I've got, I'll keep basic grey out because I need that. Where's the green? There it is. So we've got old olive in a pencil, but first of all, this basic grey. And I'm just going to put that on the top of the jar. Like that. Just because I can't think of any other colour that would go on there. There's the old olive pencil. And so I'm just going to use that on these leaves here. And again, as I said before, they are just little scribbles remember these stems here stem there stem i think i've got all of that there and then we've just got these in here as well and again just scribbling There you go. I think I've got them all there. Now, here come the blender pens. So take out one of these. Now these are, I've had these ages. They are still moist. These are, just feeling on the back of your hand, they are moist. 
So I'm going to just start off just with my lid on my jar. Like that. And then when you finish with one colour, you just scribble the colour off like that and you're ready to go into the next one. So I'm just going to, and this, this all it does is just blend, it blends your scribbles. You know, when you colour something, colour things in sometimes, you've got lines on them. This kind of takes that away. But I would say, you want the lightest of touches with these because they are moist and it will go through your paper if you if you um, put too much pressure on them. So there's the green, just scribble that off and I'm going to go to the blue and all I'm doing is just pushing that colour into all of those little spaces and just blend out those scribbles. This is such a lovely, peaceful thing to do. I'm sat in my craft room doing this. The birds are tweeting outside. They're all happy. The sun is shining. And it's just a lovely, peaceful thing to do. If you've had a stressful day at work, and when I say at work, there's a lot of us at the moment working at work, at home. This is a really nice way to round off your day. Try and forget about those stresses. Just to put them down. 15 minutes and make a card. So with the red, I'm just pushing that around. Just making sure filling in all those gaps and just blend in those pencil marks. And then finally, the orange. Because of these blender pens and the watercolour pencils, you do not need to be an artist. We're not worried about tone and shade. I'm not bothered about that. I just want some pretty colours on my flowers. And there you have it. I just think that's gorgeous. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So we need to get it mounted on our card before we just start feeling too relaxed. I need to get a sentiment on there as well. So let's get my, um, what have I got here? Right, I need to find something. There's a happy birthday one. I've got stuff all over the place. Can't find my original ink block that I <laughs> that I stamped the jar with. There it is, right in front of me. A very, very simple happy birthday greeting on this. And I'm just going to put that right down in that bottom corner. This card is about those flowers. It's not about the sentiment. So I'm going to stamp that in grey again, smoky slate. See if I can get this straight. I can never get sentiments on straight. And it doesn't help, but I can't get my head over it to check that it's straight. That'll do. I'll take that. Right. Let's get this mounted onto this old olive piece of card. And the old olive card will bring out the green in the flowers. That could have been, oh, I think I've just got away with that. I was worried I was going to smoosh the glue because I had it too high up. And then I want to get that onto the card base. So if you're a beginner crafter, a beginner card maker, this is a perfect way for you to get going. If you were going to buy a bundle of things... So the Jar of Flowers Stamp and Coordinating Punch, you'll find that on a bundle in the new catalogue. Watercolour pencils and blender pens. A 
and some smoky state ink and a block and you're making cards and you can make so many different styles of cards we've got the sunflowers we've got these and we've got these and we've got these i know nothing about flowers but i do know that's a sunflower and there you have it perfect um perfect start for the beginner card maker but ideal as well for a very quick card even if you're the more avid crafter perfect project just to bash out a quick card so i hope you like that i'll be back again soon with another project i'll see you then bye bye